Class, this is Ritu Saxena with Chapter Seven, The World of Living, Class Six Science. And first part is fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks. Plants and animals and human beings are collectively known as living organisms or living beings or living things. Amoeba is a unicellular organism. The process used by plants to synthesize their own food is known as photosynthesis. All living organisms respond to various kinds of stimuli. Herbs are very small plants. Next is true and false. True and false. Amoeba is a plant. False statement. Living organisms exhibit many variations due to their habitats and habits. True statement. Many non-living things can be molded in different forms or shapes. True. All living things die. Definitely correct. True. Lotus is, a, is an example of hydrophytes. True. Vertebrates do not possess a backbone. This is true statement. Next is take the correct option. Which of these statement is true for the plants? So one statement, green plants are autotropic is correct state. Question number two, which of the following plants belong to the category of shrubs? So this is rose, mango and neem are tree and tulsi is, tulsi is herb. Which one among these is not a flowering plant? Alga. Biennial plants, those are those plants which live for two years. Question number 5. All living organisms have cells. Question number 6. Which of these is an invertebrate? Snail. Now this is answered in brief. Question number 1. Name any three important characteristics of living beings. Characteristic of living beings are living things are made up of cells. Living things reproduce and living things grow. There are many other characteristics. This is question number two. State the difference between autotrophs and heterotrophs. So autotrophs and uh, it is always suggested that if there is such kind of question where you have to put the difference between two terms, then you should make table. It is easier to learn and uh, read. So autotroph, autotrophs are organisms that prepare their own food through the process of photosynthesis. Example, green plants and alga. Heterotrophs. Heterotrophs are organisms that cannot prepare their own food and depend upon autotroph for nutrition, animals and humans. Question number three. Give two examples each of annual, biennial and perennial plants. Annuals are plant that plant that survive for one season only. Examples are seasonal flowering plants, vegetables. Biennials are plant which survive for two seasons. For example, carrot and turnip. Perennials are the plants which survive for many seasons for example mango and guava now question number four give two examples each of animals which reproduce by laying eggs by giving birth to young one so by living uh, by laying eggs hen and fish by giving birth even insects there are insects which lay eggs by giving birth to young ones like human beings and cow there are many others question number five give two examples each of vertebrates and invertebrates so invertebrates are human beings and birds and invertebrates are earthworm and snail question number six write the names of any four useful products obtained from plants four useful products obtained from plants are food wood medicine and cotton carbon uh, this uh, oxygen uh, answer the following question now this is long answer type all the living question number one all the living things respond to external stimuli justify this statement with example all living organisms respond to different stimuli such as touch heat light and sound this statement is justified by the following example like animals like earthworm move away from light and saline media the tip of shoot meat system tends to move towards light the dropping of a leaf of a touch me not plant is a response to the touch stimulus question number two a cloud is considered as non-living even though it can move and can grow bigger explain why answer a cloud is considered as non-living even though it cannot move and grow bigger because it can grow bigger because cloud do not show the characteristic of living things like it cannot breathe it cannot take food items it cannot uh, it is not made up of cells it cannot respond to different stimuli Question number three, write two points of differences between herbs and shrubs and shrubs and tree. So at, as suggested, always write in tabular form if differences type of question is there. So herb, 
herbs are herbs are very small plants they have soft and green stems and examples are mint leaves car carrot etc shrubs are medium sized plant they are bushy and uh, bushy in appearance and have a hard woody stem for example ratkirani bougainvillea rose cotton plants etc shrubs are a medium sized plant they are bushy in appearance and have a hardy woody stem uh, hard woody stem examples ratkirani bougainvillea rose cotton plants etc cotton plants etc now tree are tall and large plants they have a strong and woody stems for example neem people mango apple trees etc question number 4 state the difference between biennial and perennial plants so difference between biennials and perennial plants are this is this question is again of difference so it has been put into tabular form so biennials are these plants live for two seasons in the first year they have full vegetative growth and in the second year they bear flowers and fruits for example carrot and turnip perennials these plants live for many years they produce flowers and fruits many times in their lifetime for example mango guava neem etc name two types of terrestrial plant this is question number 5 Name two types of terrestrial plants. How do they differ based on their habitat and water requirements? Answers is terrestrial all land plants can be mesophyte, xerophyte, and hydrophytes. Two types of terrestrial plants are mesophytes and xerophytes. These plants grow on land and need moderate amount of water supply for their survival. For example, mango tree, apple tree, etc. Xerophytes are the plants which grow in deserts they need very small amount of water for their survival for example cacti babool question number 6 how are vertebrate different from invertebrate vertebrates are different from invertebrates in many ways again this is of this question is to differentiate so vertebrate and invertebrate they have a backbone which is made up of several small ring like bones called vertebrae these animals are well developed and have a bony skeleton for examples uh, for example the examples are human being fig frog lizard birds etc uh, here invertebrates they do not have a backbone and these animals have a soft body the examples are earthworm cockroach octopus starfish etc this is question number 7 write any four uses of animals in our daily life this has been directly taken from the book four uses of animals in our daily life are Uh, four uses of animals in our daily life are animals like camel and horses are used for transportation of materials and human humans we get many different products like leather wool and silk from animals animals excreta are used as manure and for producing gobar gas we get many edible products like milk meat etc value based question sachi noticed a collection of leaves grass and some tiny twigs in one corner of her school building she was about to remove them when her teacher who was passing nearby stopped her from doing so the teacher told her that it was a nest being made by a bird to lay its eggs she advised sachi to be kind and considerate towards all the living beings list the values displayed by sachi's teacher let's see the answer value displayed by sachi's teacher are considerate kind integrity responsible dutiful and egg laying animals are vertebrate like reptiles uh, vertebrate animals that lay eggs are reptiles like snake turtle lizard invertebrate egg laying animals are insects like mosquito and cockroaches so sachi might have thought of cleaning the area and that's all thank you